it's really uh, wonderful to be with you here at this event. Uh, I will recall the title of the event. It's an informal strategy development workshop, thematic priority, innovation and youth, key to success at Rio Plus 20. I'm representing International Association for the Advancement of Innovative Approaches to Global Challenges and the mission of our association is to mobilize uh, resources from global civil society to support the work of the United Nations and to support global sustainable development efforts by bringing the knowledge but also financial resources and volunteering resources to the processes uh, of the United Nations. And this uh, requires systemic innovation of the global governance system and uh, we are uh, very much convinced that this uh, Rio uh, Plus 20 United Nations Conference on Sustainable Development offers uh, one in a lifetime uh, opportunity for the world to uh, really change the way we uh, organize our global responses to uh, the problems that we are facing, be it climate change, be it uh, ecosystems, uh, degeneration, biodiversity loss, and all these uh, income disparities. There's, uh, uh, these are indicators that the systems, how we organize resource allocation, how we uh, organize uh, interpersonal <coughs> relations, have some deficiencies, that there are systemic failures uh, and uh, we are very happy to work with uh, Sharon and the NGO Committee on Spirituality, Values and Global Concerns because we think that uh, uh, thinking outside the box is needed and also we have to reflect on our values, we have to uh, reflect on the very basics uh, of our uh, societal life, global societal life. Uh, I've, we've brought uh, some uh, DVDs uh, documenting a conference that we've had uh, March last year in Bled in Slovenia with UNESCO uh, on the topic Imagining the Worst, Foresight, Ethics and Extreme Climate Scenarios. So we should really think uh, if the, we go on the way we are uh, uh, having our economies and how we uh, use nature, then this could really lead to terrible uh, uh, collapses of ecosystems, of economic systems, governance systems, and uh, if we think about this, perhaps this has also some uh, uh, in, uh, implications on the way we behave, uh, the way how we approach this uh, Rio Plus 20 opportunity. And uh, uh, another aspect of uh, this uh, systemic change that we are looking at is knowledge, uh, how we uh, understand better the basics of all these problems uh, that are around us, uh, the, the basics of the human uh, and environment uh, interactions, and also uh, how we can uh, communicate the knowledge about the United Nations and uh, other processes that should help, how we communicate this to uh, the uh, world to really get everybody involved, uh, everybody acting uh, in a globally, social, responsible way. One way is the Rio Plus 20 Global Youth Music Contest as a way of informal education, of peer-to-peer -peer education. But we've had also some initiatives together with the Academic Council on the United Nations System, which I'm a member of, uh, about can the United Nations be taught, a compendium of innovative teaching techniques. and. Um, uh, Academic Council on the United Nations System, one of the co-organizers of today's event. It's an association of uh, academics, uh, a global association, who uh, do research on uh, global governance, international relations, and the specific role of the United Nations in it. So uh, this uh, is uh, our approach uh, when we talk about innovation in the context of Rio Plus 20, that we look on the uh, ethics, value, even spiritually uh, inspired uh, aspects of uh, societal organization and on the other hand very much on knowledge management issues. How uh, can we uh, uh, orient the research systems, the education systems, the technology innovation systems in a way that uh, we uh, can achieve sustainable development. And in this context, um, the Brazilian government, I guess uh, all of you know that there are seven critical issues at Rio Plus 20, uh, which have been determined in uh, a long and very interactive and participatory preparatory process by governments at Rio Plus 20 secretariat and major groups. And these uh, seven critical issues are jobs, energy, cities, food, water, 
and the disasters. And uh, for these uh, topics, uh, there have been prepared uh, issues briefs. I have uh, uh, printed out some of the issues briefs for this, and I can uh, let it circulate so that uh, you know how the topics are presented. It's presented uh, how uh, the, each of these topics is relevant for the Rio Plus 20 conference and what, what can be achieved uh, there. And now at the last uh, intersessional meeting uh, for the preparation of Rio Plus 20 in December last year, the Brazilian government uh, said, uh, in addition to these seven topics, we want to have uh, another topic, and this is innovation. And they didn't say uh, they would like to have it uh, as one of these official topics, which are in the governmental uh, uh, structures and uh, procedures, because uh, it's uh, this needs that all the governments agree to it. So they said they would uh, uh, address this issue in uh, thematic days, which are before the official conference. Uh, these thematic days uh, will be uh, held in HSBC Arena in uh, Rio de Janeiro. It uh, is, uh, has place for 16,000 people, and it's expected that there uh, the topic is, uh, of the conference, but also innovation, will be discussed with civil society representatives and leading experts. And so our uh, association, uh, International Association for the Advancement of Innovative Approaches to Global Changes, said, okay, this is a very interesting uh, aspect uh, and uh, interesting development, and to make the most of, out of it, to get uh, give it more momentum, it would be good if an issues brief would be prepared and if people are called together who uh, have some ideas on uh, innovation and therefore we called this meeting and we are happy that the Rio Plus 20 Secretariat people, Chantaline and Pepe, they are very supportive. They also said that they will uh, spread the word about the outcomes of this uh, meeting. And uh, one of the topics uh, that's also not reflected in this list of uh, seven uh, top, uh, uh, topical areas is youth. Because, uh, and youth and this intergenerational partnership, intergenerational equity and ethics of this, uh, the, the issue how ma many resources the present generation is, uh, is using up uh, and how much is being passed on uh, to next generation and how much uh, uh, the young people and children today are heard in these uh, sustainable development efforts. This is something crucial and very central to Rio Plus 20, but it's not been uh, in these official documents of Rio Plus 20 preparatory process, it has not been recognized as such, although in the processes and the preparatory work, uh, it was really a very open uh, way and uh, really recognized uh, and supported the work of the young people, but the topic as such has not been really prepared for the preparatory process, and we said, okay, these two topics need uh, more work, and therefore we uh, combine uh, both aspects in today's meeting, so we uh, will uh, talk about youth issues as a priority for Rio Plus 20 and how we can work on it to bring it to the attention to the governments and those who uh, are working on Rio Plus 20. And the other issue is innovation, so that really innovation that we can uh, build a bridge between these big expectations that are around the world regarding Rio Plus 20. Really, uh, for many people, it's really the, the one big uh, chance we have to uh, make the things right to settle the system and the uh, the uh, initiatives and uh, starting points that are now in the zero draft outcome document which are more or less business as usual so if we don't bring in this innovation component there's no way that uh, there can really be uh, big progress in Rio. so uh, this is an introduction to these both topics uh, uh, and uh, i would now give the floor to uh, all of you to present yourself, uh, your institution, and uh, what your uh, specific interests are regarding these uh, both topics, innovation and youth. Uh, uh, so that we will later on also split into two groups uh, and work on an outline for these issues brief and uh, an outline for future actions, so that we have an overview who is who and who has uh, what uh, competences and what interests. So.